What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. And uh, Mike's back is still hurting, which is why he's doing a little rock here. He's doing a little Forrest Gump rock. And um, he might have to depart, so you guys might be able to see his beautiful face. And then he'll be gone, like a, like a phantom. In the night. I think we're going to, before we start, we're going to try this Premier Class Chocolate Pocky that Kerwood has sent us. And uh, we'll see. Ooh, ooh, look at these. Look at these premium pouches. These are like... It's a bunch of individually wrapped. Oh, and it's got a little notch here, a little tear notch. Oh yeah, this is, this is Premier Pocky. No joke. Oh, I just dropped a little piece. Yeah, you can just have this one and I'll just have another one. I didn't mean to give you that one because the piece broke off. It was just easier that way. Okay, so they look like, a lot of these, a lot of the chocolate candies ended up getting melted a little bit because of transit. I guess it's pretty hot in Japan. It's kind of one thing now. Also, Kerwit uh, took them from Japan to, C to Seattle, and then he shipped them from Seattle, where he works. And they look like this. Well, this is like four of them. There's four individual Pockies that has now become one Pocky. It's very much uh, the Nacho situation in, in I, think, I think the movie was Orange County, where he's like, if they're stuck together it counts as no maybe that was like saving sarah silverman wasn't it i'm getting no, my, no no you're right no i'm getting my jack black movies confused oh that is it's one where their friend hooks up with that girl that they don't like yeah that's saving sarah silverman oh, no that's saving sarah Sil saving i don't know what the movie is man this is my jawbreaker Jawbreaker Joy Division shirt. At the bottom it says Unfun Pleasures. And um, I'm going to jump into this league now. See, once you, once you give Mike the little chocolates, then his, his mind is taken off the pain. No, it's not. Dang it. Well, we tried, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we got the internet apparently fixed today. They were running some new lines today. They're like, we need to run some new lines because there's some interference on this line. So that's pretty cool. So ideally, um, we shouldn't have any problems anymore. These are very good. I think any. I, I mean, realistically, if you cover anything in chocolate to this degree, it's probably pretty good, right? You're not gonna be like, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I'm just tasting the chocolate, and I'm like, ooh, chocolate tastes pretty good. So was bad choice. Saving Silverman. What do I call it? Saving Sarah Silverman. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's pretty funny. My back's actually fine. It's really my leg now. The, the what if you replace all of Mike's bones with chocolate? I'm down to try it. Can you imagine Mike just melts in the sun every time? And then when he tries to... And then when he goes back inside, his bones harden again because they're made of chocolate. And then he's just in a weird position. He'd be a snack, literally. How's the inner web tubes? I literally just, I thought I just told, I, I just, or you just, Josh, did you literally just get here? Because I just mentioned how the, um, the technicians came out today and they were like, they went outside to check the line from the house and they were like, oh, we found some interference. There's a lot of interference on one of these lines. And so they replaced that whole line with new coax cable. So hopefully it's better now. Oh, we have a stipulation in the queue from hold on let me actually I always drop this down just in case my information shows up I don't want you guys looking like the private bits and the stipulation is from I didn't even put it in here because I'm a I'm a bad man I'm a bad man <laughs> the stipulation is from uh, Corey otherwise known as Shooter McGavin he says flawless victory stip Kill your opponent with little to no permanence in play or cards in hand. Uh, think Annihilator Triggers, Ugin, Steel Hellkite, Karn, Crucible Package, Engineer Explosive, Centering Titan, Upheaval. Try to avoid being strictly blue green ramp, although it's strong. We've done that so many times before. But seeing this Upheaval, it's a good way to start that stipulation. So if we want to try that, we can do it. If it doesn't end up working, we can just default into a... Into just a 
a blue green upheaval deck, but which you wouldn't which you wouldn't count for the stip. We would just be doing that for fun, and then I would try to do Corey's. Uh... That's an interesting stip. Yeah, but it kind of it's it's challenging, which is nice. Um... Corey, baby back ribs. <clears throat> We'll do that. Anything we got here where we're, we're getting rid of perms? Into the royal. It mm. does get rid of a perm. Mizium order kills a lot of perms. Problem with Mizium orders is that it's triple red if we want to kill all the perms, and this is just a, a card that's in our color. So I think we're going to take into the royal here. This guy kills lots of perms. So of Temptation steals a perm. That's nice. Do you do MTG Arena standard style deck decks or like a run? Yeah, same thing. I just play like five matches with the deck. I try to get, uh, if you guys ever commission a deck deck, I try to keep it around two hours. Because I feel like that's a good amount of time uh, it, that's still easily digestible. I have six hours. Stay on glue for now. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, there's no leagues. I don't think leagues really matter. I don't play leagues on Magic Online either because I just go through, I just play like five matches and then I make changes in between. I don't like leagues because if you're giving me a deck to test and it's not good, no offense to you guys, of course, if it's not good, which is why you're giving me to me to test, uh, I don't want to be locked into it for five rounds and uh, when I could be making changes in between. So that's why I don't actually do leagues. I just like, I play the deck individually and make the changes as I go. Yeah, I don't think I can stay. This is uh, pretty bad. Should Mike stay or should Mike go? Sorry, guys. I'll be in the chat, but... He won't. He's can't, leaving. Can't sit. We'll take Crucible, and then we can try to get the Wasteland. Well, Michael, we had a good run, guys. Lasted about four minutes. But it was four minutes of heaven, Michael. Here, bring this chair up. Yeah. I'll just scoot it over that way. Yeah, I'm good. All right, appreciate it. Preach. <clears throat> and then we were alone, guys. Uh, and there's an engineered explosives as well. Although as far as things go, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure engineered explosives is going to kill enough stuff, but it's, I think I'd rather just have remand here. I bet once you have 11 cards through, come back. I bet, I bet explosives might come back. Factor fiction is good. Nothing here that gets rid of perms other than, like, Doomblade, but that's just a removal, so I don't think that counts for, like, the overarching theme. Um, yeah, just, that's a late factor fiction. A six-pick factor fiction is pretty late. Tanglewire kind of fulfills the perm. You can take Magister of Worth. That kills all the creatures. Yeah, let's take Magister. Shambling Vent is nice for that Magister of Worth that we just picked up. Sure. Banishing Light gets rid of one of the perms. <clears throat> that seems fine. The only problem is that if we're upheavaling, I don't like Banishing Light because I'm like, let me get rid of your 6-6, six, six, and I'll upheaval, and then you get a 6-6. Six, six. Um... Probably want Liliana. I think it's just a better card. Yeah, Remembering Mystic is fine. I don't think we want a Plateau. We have a lot of spells here so far. We have another Royal Remand, Factor Fiction. Upheaval would get a bird for us, and then we'd lose the bird immediately. <clears throat> eh, Lyra. I guess Lyra's fine. Alright, so the only things we basically saw were upheaval. As far as like an engineer explosives, which would might be in the next pack. We took a gamble and it did not pay off, guys.
Should I stay or should I go now? Alright, one time. Get rid of all the things. Parallax wave. Not bad. Spear kills permanence. That's true. But I mean, like, we're looking for things that make them, that penalize them for. We want to get rid of all the things, not just one creature. We don't want just removal spells. Like, Parallax Wave is a good example of that. <laughs> Might just be Isolated Chapel. Parallax Wave will probably come back, and I do want fixing if we have a double, double white and a double black card here. I do want the deck to be playable. Oh, good lands, good lands. Uh, nothing in here. So I think we're just creeping. We're just going to be creeping here. I do like a Necromancy and a Sinister Sabotage, but... Uh, Worn Power Stone is nice because we have Upheaval. So I think we're going to do that. Always be creeping. You ain't wrong, man. Oblivion Stone, Mind Slaver. It's probably Oblivion Stone, but that kills our permanence too. So I'm trying to avoid killing our permanence because then we don't win. Martial Coup does kind of what we're looking for. I think it's Martial Coup or Oblivion Stone. Like this doesn't kill their lands, so this is likely going to kill the same things that this kills most of the time. So I think actually Martial Coup is fine. And this gives us two sweepers, which is pretty sweet. We could actually Martial Coup, trigger the Murmuring Mystic, destroy the token that we get with Murmuring Mystic. Ooh, Sundering Titan could be nice. I do want this Hollowed Fountain, but I think we want a Sundering Titan here. We can destroy all their land types. And hopefully not have to destroy our own land types. Twenty-five million? Jesus. That's insane, dude. That's basically the equivalent you've donated to the stream, like proportionally speaking. Where if my stream uh, is like X percentage of the school, your 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 contribution is an equal percentage to 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 your company's owner, I would imagine, because that's that's the amount of that's the generosity level we're talking there, which is pretty sweet. Uh, thirst, got Sundering Titan, Crucible, Warren Power Stone. I'm looking for I'm looking for a wasteland here. Willamog. Like the problem is we don't have a ton of ramp right now. I think it's probably just thirst here. Snappy boy. Alright. Um yeah, we'll just take Snapcaster. I think Factor Fiction, Remand, into the World, Thirst for Knowledge. Repeal, upheaval. Yeah, that that guy's good. Alright, well. Seachrome Coast. Oh, Wrath of God. Oh, Venser. We already have Magister and Marshall Coast. I don't think we need a Wrath here. I'd almost rather have the Seachrome Coast. We don't have any white-blue lands. All of our lands are coming into play tapped at one point or another, which is... Yeah, definitely take Baleful Strix here. And Glacial Fortress is pretty nice. I'll take that. Hopefully that Hall of Fountain comes back. Uh, 
Uh, Glenelinger Archmage is pretty gassed. All right. Leftover lasagna and catching Frank Cuban live. What a day. What a time to be alive. I just had another sweet offer. I'm selling a uh, a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II, which is a really, really nice. Uh, it's a really, really nice digital camera, and um, I'm selling it for 550 because it you can't or, or 500 rather, just 500 because you can't really even find them for, for under 540. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just sell for 550 or 500 rather. And someone just was like, hey, I'll sell it for 350 tomorrow. Or I can I can come get it tomorrow for three fifty, and I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good, man. Thanks. Preach. <laughs> Why are you selling it? Well, you see, all right. So we're destroying s the all, all our destroy cards are here so far. This could be a destroy card with a. With a wasty, with a wasty boy. We have five fixing lands. The hollowed fountain did not come back. I'll give you a hot dog sandwich for it, cash. Well, that's all I've ever wanted. All I've wanted was one hot dog sandwich. So I think, uh, I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna work out for the both of us. <clears throat> no lands that we want. No real spells that are gonna do anything for us. I just want to forsake the worldly because we don't have an effect like that. I don't think I care about Jace or Emrakul. Like, Emrakul's not going to... They're not annihilating here. We'll take Forsake. Um, we could have taken the Ulmog because he does have Annihilator. But the problem with that is that we just don't have an efficient way to cast him as of yet. We only have Worn Power Stone, which means he costs 11, so we'd have to go to 9. We'd have to have 9 actual mana and a Worn Power Stone. Oh, uh, Looter doesn't excite me that much. I mean, a Looter's fine, but... I actually kind of like Mimic Vat here with Martial Coup and Magister of Worth. I also don't mind a Mana Confluence or a Supreme Verdict, I guess. Also, Star of Extinction. That's a, that's a real good leave him with nothing, but... Unfortunately, it's double red, so... I don't foresee it making the uh, making the grade. My only problem is this is double black into double white, but I think it's still the pick. I think it's still fine. Uh, tomato, torrential gear hulk. Everflowing Chalice is nice when we have Slurring Titan and Martial Coup in the deck. I think it's actually Everflowing Chalice here. I do like a Tamiyo, but... I kind of like Arid Mesa because we have Cru Crucible, but we have like literally no black-white lands or blue-white lands to search for, so we'd literally just be getting planes with this. I think we're just taking this late Teferi and uh, being grateful for it, I guess. Again, nothing that's really going to remove all the permanents. I think lands is probably the uh, the hardest thing to get permanents off the board with. I got I mean the, I just I said that to the guy. I'm like can't do uh, can't do can't do 350 You'd be hard pressed to find it for under 540 and he said no problem. I appreciate the reply. Good luck with your sale. I was like all right, cool. Nicely done. Control Magic. Ooh, that steals one of your favorite things. Coalition Relic is nice, especially with Sundering. Wow, that's a late Coalition Relic, man. It also makes a, a lot of our cards easier to cast. I'm going to take the Coalition Relic. And now we're talking. We can take Crucible of Worlds out as of right now because we have no Wasteland. Watch, they're going to just open up Wasteland here. There's also no, um, there's no Strip Mine here. So, like, there's no way to get rid of... Um... There's no way to get rid of basic lands, so like you're only getting rid of their non-basics with Crucible in this in this format. I like Search, but I also just like having Forbid. I just like having a Forbid. 
We have no counter spells right now except for Glenelg Archmage and Remand, which is barely a counter spell. Uh, Baneslayer, we can have the Lyra and Baneslayer. Basalt Monolith, also nice for Sundering Titan and Martial Coup. Don't care about Deep Analysis. We have a lot of cards draw. We have Thirst, Factor Fiction, uh, Repeal, Snapcaster, and the Royal. We have a lot of ways to draw cards. Yeah, we're just taking the Basalt Monolith here. Watery Grave. Thank you! A Watery Grave is better than Scalding Turn here because, again, this is just going to get blue. To Sarah Official, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Got my month free Twitch Prime and gonna use it on you, Frankie boy. Sucks being a broke student, but still get really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I do hope your broke studentness comes back. Oh, Ravages of War with Coalition Relic. Oh man. Or not Coalition Relic, Crucible of Worlds is what I was thinking. But then we're like, I'm just gonna take this. Oh, litter just comes back because of course it does. So the problem with Ravages is that we had 23 cards, and if we get the Ravages, we're going to have to bring in the Crucible, too. So we have Ravages and Crucible, it's 25. And then we got to make more cuts. Uh, I don't think Ravages can come back. Hero of Bladehold just wins games. I'm going to take this Mimic that. Mimic Gimp, what's going on, buddy? Um, we can probably cut Repeal or into the Royal. We don't need both of those. I'm going to take care of it. We only have eight creatures. Maybe this is better than something else. The, my big problem with this step is I don't know if I've completed it, right? Like, it's a hard step to do because if you don't open the exact cards you want... Like, you're not giving me a restriction. It's harder when you have... So there's two kinds of stipulations, right? Um, you either give a stipulation that has a goal. I want you to draft this type of deck and do and accomplish this thing. Right, so if someone said, like, I have steps in the queue where they're like, draft a sweet upheaval deck. So that's a goal, right? Um, and then, like, when you're drafting it, you're just like, well, I hope I get this card, otherwise I can't do the step. Right, so, but the other kind is, what I say, there's goals and there are restrictions, is that what I said? Wow, that's like control magic. Um... Yeah, Dave just went. All right, cool. Um, but the other kind is saying, hey, I want you to do this thing during the draft portion. Only draft, convert a mana cost three or less cards. Or only draft, uh, you, you have to draft five multicolor cards, right? Like, those are a lot easier to do because they give you a lot more of a range. And uh, it's, it's not saying you can't do something. Or it's not saying you, uh, it's saying you can't do something rather than you must do something, if that makes sense. So, like, you're basically like, oh, um, don't draft white cards. Well, it's easy to do while you're drafting. Um, but if, if it says you have to have 15 six drops in your deck, then it's a lot harder because you may not get those. So, saying you have to do something for a stipulation is a lot harder than saying don't do something, if that makes sense. Which I hope it does. Cut the repeal. Tempt just cut Hero Blade Hold here. I could see cutting Sower, but like it steals something. And it gives it takes away their permanence, but it does die to like upheaval, martial coup. Whereas like we could cut the Murmuring Mystic. Murmuring Mystic doesn't do much here, right? Maybe it does. What do we got here? Also, if you guys haven't done so, definitely go to uh, CoolStuffInc.com. If you make any purchases, which should are a great company, you can get 5% off with the promo code FRANK5. And you can also check out my article that went up this week. It's uh, called Chromatic Brews with Niv-Mizzet Reborn. So you guys can check out all my thoughts on Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, I like Murmuring Mystic here. I don't think it's great. We might have enough ramp for, for mine. So we may have Basalt Model of Coalition Relic, Worn Power Stone, and Everflowing Chalice. We do get to steal their turn. It's so weird they took Academy Ruins out. That's such a weird choice. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Verdict enough people count for Mystic either. Good call. Good call. Good call. We can we could take the Sower out and just bring in Mind Slaver. I kind of like that. 
Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to bring in all these. We have two black cards. One is double black. That's pretty funny to me. One, two, three. Do we just cut the Liliana? I mean, Liliana might be too too ambitious. Because then it leaves us with just Baleful Strix and Magister of Worth. And then we have one, two, three, four. We can add one Swamp just to make it easier. But Now we can add just, uh, just something better. I like Supreme Will, actually. That seems pretty good. Or Torrential Gear Hulk. Well, we already have three six drops. Oh, Alexa just literally thanked me, and I don't know why. Uh, any thoughts on the two new Narset cards well today? I have not seen them, I don't think. Someone read them to me, maybe, or showed them to me, and I forgot what they were. I think Felipe read them to me last night in the living room. And I was just like, eh. I don't know. I didn't remember them. Yeah, I like I like Supremo better than uh, better than Repeal here. What happened to your podcast? Which one? Freshly brewed. The one we haven't done in months. Um. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, one more, huh? Three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're gonna have ten seven. Done. Got him. Did you? Keep. I'm still waiting for the second RNA set review. Well, buddy, you may be waiting a while. So I was like, man, do we have... I, I can play this on turn three. And then I was like, wait, it's a Supreme Will, not a Thirst for Knowledge. Then we drew Thirst for Knowledge. And I was like... Oh, oh man, we got to do it with our main phase. Otherwise, they just we can't do it. And that's sad. Well, this is nice because we get to Supreme Verdict next turn. So if we play a land, doesn't matter, I don't think. Uh, we have one, two, three. Well, one, two, three. We have seven cards. This will put us down to six cards. We'll draw three. We'll go up to nine. We'll discard one if we it's an artifact. And we'll go down to eight. The problem is I just don't feel like we have any cards I really want to discard here. So I think we just pass. Let them do their thing. Hopefully they play a guy. And then we'll Supreme Verdict. You guys can also check out meundies.com slash Frank If you're looking, if you're in the market for new, for new wardrobe updates, if you want some super comfortable clothing, and uh, I know, we know you do, you can head on over to meundies.com slash Frank You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, so free returns is like, you just buy them, you try them out. If you really, really like them, you can keep them and you should, because they are legit super comfortable. And if you don't like them, you just send them back. Um, yeah, that's fine. And the reason that's fine is because we have a little card called Supreme Verdict. <sighs> cool Undies Ink. Yeah, that's what that's it. We just thirst here. 
Uh, we do one, two, three, four, five. So same thing, right? We get to play a land next turn. All right. Well, discard two cards. Yeah, let's discard a little remand and into the royal. I think. Really hoping for a land there. Good lord. Still no land, huh? Okay, well. That's strange, but I guess it is what it is. All right, well, they didn't do anything, and we missed another land drop, so. Good times had by all. I did not think we'd be here in terms of missing land drops like this, but. The world will look up and scream, send me a land drop, and I'll look down and whisper, no. <laughs> okay, well. Oh god. Here we go. Avenger of Zendikar? Wow. Convoking? What is this? What's happening right now? Court of Calling? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 for 5? Oh, they're just gonna acidic slime this? That's, that's wonderful. Oh, that's just wonderful. I'm having a good time. A time that is joyful to be, you see. Oh, it's a deranged hermit instead. That's actually just fine. I am not concerned with such things. Because I will now be playing a Magister of Worth Wolpert. All right, well, still didn't hit a land, but we actually have to magister here, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. All right, if Condemnation gets more votes, uh, right? If Condemnation gets more votes, the risk time to destroy all creatures. Oh, yeah, let's just kill them all. Thank you for doing the thing I was thinking in my head, but didn't transcribe well at all. What did you say? Oh, the, uh, oh, the... <laughs> The Rorschach Watchman thing? Frankel was Frankel look up and whisper, give me a land drop. And I'll look down and whisper, no. Yeah, that's good stuff. God, pernicious dude always on point with the knife with the knife meme. All right, well. They don't have any permanents other than lands on the board, so this is actually where I want to be. Oh, this is Tectonic Edge, my shambling vent, because they're monsters. They still have three cards in hand. Can they not? Is that possible? Oh, I see. Oh, wow, that's actually great, because we can actually play Teferi at some point, get rid of this, and then get to keep our... Uh, get to Get to blow up the board again. Yeah, they did do that because they are indeed monsters. They are factual monsters. We're going to just draw land here, so it's okay. It's like the worst land I could have drawn, but all right. We don't get to play Teferi now. We do get to play Hero of Bladehold, though. Which I think is probably better than not doing that. I also, the other snack I brought, which Mike doesn't get to get to get to have take part in, I guess, is these these strawberry Kit Kats. Look at look at those beauties. <coughs> okay, so just to be clear, I can get rid of this Conclave Tribunal, then I get back my Magister, and then I choose Condemnation, and I get rid of this Fairgrounds Warden, and then we just get to do it all. 
I want it all. Okay. Well, we're going to do that. I hope you guys are ready for it. So it's third from the top. So they draw a card. Then they draw a card. So the next card after that. Which delicious Japanese? I don't think I'm. I'm I don't think I'm excited to try any of. Them. I mean, I don't think I'm more excited to try any any one than than any other, just because I don't know enough about them. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. What's happening right now? You're responding to this with something. Beast within the Teferi. Okay, that's actually pretty good. But they have no cards in hand, so we're still gonna name condemnation. And then they're gonna crack this Horizon canopy, I imagine, with no cards in hand. So it's third from the top. Third from the top. So now it's second from the top. What if we name the wrong one and they get back Tide Taker, Tristani, Derange Tournament? That'd be really sad, right? So now they're going to announce. Now it's one from the top. So we have to just play Archmage next turn and be able to counter the Conclave Tribunal. And then we're good to go. G2G, as the kids would say. Okay, all right. I mean, as far as this stipulation goes, I think we're denying them permanence pretty efficiently here. Especially when now they can't cast the Conclave Tribunal that we know they're going to draw, so. Um, Battlecry goes on first. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they're just, they're just dead. We just know they're dead. We factually know they have they have lost this game with one permanent on board, which is an Elish Mystic. I'm okay with it. Of course, they they still have their lands, but you know, it's a lot harder than it looks to destroy all the lands in the cube and also destroy all the creatures because then you have to destroy the creatures first because otherwise, if you do it after, you won't have any lands to cast the spell that's destroying all the creatures. It's a whole thing. It's a whole to do. I'm sure you guys understand. forsake the worldly they did we saw conclave tribunal is that enough is that enough to to do the thing we have day of judgment too oh wow i might want to remove the control magic for the day of judgment because all the creatures we saw we just rather kill than than steal I don't love Sundering Titan here just because uh, it's going to kill one of our islands. They're only two colors. If they had more non-basics like Stomping Grounds or things like that, I would be much more inclined to keep Sundering Titan. Um, I do like Forsake. I think Forsake is pretty good. I can also see bringing in Liliana, but again, double black is hard. I think we're good like this. I like it. Um, well, I mean, blue, we have 10 blue sources in the deck, so I think this is actually fine. With 33 cards in the deck, there's like 10% chance. 9.4% chance of hitting a blue source. No, one in three. So it's like 30. Hey, we did it. <laughs> now, I, was, I totally got it wrong there. I don't know what I was thinking. So 33 out of, um, 10 out of 33 chance. So like 30% almost, almost, almost exactly 30% maybe. Is that how that works? Guys, I don't know math. Okay. I'm an English major. I, I, I use it to words, huh? Look, I'm just playing I'm just playing Ravnica standard, guys. I keep catching wits of my whiffs of my spicy pits. I'm gonna go fix that later and go Wow, how long does it take to fix? Is that like a thing you gotta work on? It's like a project? I gotta go I gotta go in the garage to fix my spicy pits, so I'll see you guys later. That's strange. You're a strange man, Juposhi. Oh, a Gaia's Cradle with no, uh, with no thing. Look, we also have the second black, so if we had Liliana here, we could have just played it. You're saying a lot of words about that percentage. You're right. I'm just, I'm trying to describe it adequately. I don't know if I'd had. Oh, that's good, too. All right, so we're basically just, 
we just go Tefri when they try to swarm the board. We just go Supreme Verdict. It's all... Oh, so the game's basically over, is what you're saying. I just get to drop a Teferi. Keep up Remand mana. Remanda, if you will. <laughs> that, if I was writing a rock opera about magic, uh, one of the songs would be Remanda. And that would be the, the protagonist's love interest. Remanda. This is high quality content here, guys. I don't know what you're, you're missing out, I think. Whatever this is, it's never happening, my dude. It's never happening. That's a good one with Gaia's Cradle, though, for sure. Counter in my spell, put it back in my hand, remand. That's a good, man, this is quality, dude. Um, we could just, like, play Mind Slaver and then still queue up into the roll to bounce their dude. <laughs> this is quality content. You're correct. I agree with you. You like how we didn't even draw a card? I'm like, I'll draw a card after I may after I make my play. I don't care. What's it gonna be here? What's this what's this sassy four drop we're playing here? Conclave Tribunal That's fine. I have a Forsake the Worldly. Although on our journey to ultimate uh Teferi, it's pretty sad. We could actually just into the Royal it now, and then they don't get the, the thing. And then next turn we can forsake the worldly it. So, like, we still get to... We don't, like, lose our... This is fine. I'm okay with it. All right, I'm going to try one of these Kit Kats because they're just sitting here staring at me. And, like, really, I've earned it, you know? You've earned it. They come in these tiny little packages. Again, this feels melted. Like, it feels weird. Oh, my God. You're going to... This is going to... This looks strange, I think. Oh, yeah. That's a... That is an interesting Kit Kat shape we got here. Look at this. Look at this melted Kit Kat. <laughs> it's, it's like the sticks. Like all the chocolate melted off of the wafers. And then they just kind of remained pink. And like all the chocolates at the bottom here. That's pretty hilarious. Uh -huh. mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm going to have a real thought for you guys in a second. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Gonna steal your turn. Romando. I'm going to play this. Thank you. RPG Badger, welcome back, buddy. Long time no Simone Frere. Always a pleasure, my dude. Um. So one thing about oh, that's cool. It didn't. It didn't. Literally, didn't do my thing. So now that's uh, that's nice. Um. One thing about what's the word I'm looking for here? This hand sucks. We can't do anything with it. Oh, we haven't drawn a card yet. Oh, now we can do a thing. <laughs> um, so Horizon Canopy. What can we do? Them not having a creature is actually pretty awkward because we can play like Baneslayer, then Path or Baneslayer, then fail to find. We can play Tribunal. 
and then path eh, that doesn't do anything i really wish we i really wish this didn't tap untap incorrectly so the thing about strawberry candy is that it always tastes like medicine for me badger welcome back buddy good to see you again pal um so we can't play this if we, like if we play this they end up having three green which doesn't do anything if we play this eh. if we play this i just don't want them to have we can just play this to no it doesn't i don't i'd rather them not use their mana at all what did we get here oh a burmazd yeah all right so now they don't have double white for these yeah this is still fine Yeah, just don't care about any of this stuff. Like, it's whatever. I'm gonna screen it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cap it. And then we're gonna make them discard something good. I mean, we have Supreme Verdict in hand, so I'm not like super concerned with anything. And we're also gonna go. Teferi's gonna go up to eight, so I don't see how we lose this game. And we have Thirst for Knowledge to draw three and exile a bunch of their lands. Um, yep. I must discard. Let's get rid of Mirari's Wake. That seems like the hardest thing I wanna. I don't really want to have to deal with. I'm going to take him by the hand and make you understand, Remanda. Okay, let's try this again. One, two. We did it. We are good at this game. Badger, welcome back from the hospital, buddy. I hope you're doing all right. I'm hoping you live in a country with universal health care so three weeks they didn't bankrupt you. That's a good draw. However, we have a Teferi. We have a Hulk. Oh my god. Wait, we're gonna do some cool we're gonna do some coolness here. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna take you by the hand and make you understand Amanda. Badger, I'm so glad to hear it, dude. I'm so glad to hear it, buddy. Um, artifact. Remember, remember, our stipulation was to win with no permanence in play, right? <laughs> Got him. I feel like this is like, I feel like this is literally this is this is exactly what we're looking for here. I'm gonna take him by the hand. I booked my flights to the US, I don't think I can get away. I mean, Badger, the US is pretty big, dude. I totally understand if you can't get anywhere close to Florida. It's not really, it's kind of out of the way. It's kind of in the corner of the of the United States. So I uh, I was not like expecting that by any means. So don't, don't, don't beat yourself up over that, dude. So theoretically, our opponent would have had one Gaia's Cradle that couldn't tap for anything in play. And uh, we would have had all the permanents, so. I'm going to keep this hand. I mean, they kept a hand with only lands and five drops. They had literally... Their hand was literally Awakening Zone, which they obviously didn't have on turn three because they didn't play it. Maybe they did. But like Baneslayer, Conclave Tribunal, Deranged Herent, Mirari's Wake, Tristani. This was their hand. So they kept like a, at least some of those five drops in their opener. So like, I it's hard to feel bad for that. Like... Oh, living our best lives here. Living our best lives. I think I played against Goalie yesterday, actually. 
I'm gonna take you by the hand, make you understand, Ramanda. Now I have Ramanda stuck in my head, which, to be clear, is not a real song, guys. They went forest, forest, cradle, forest, nothing, then awakening zone, then forest. So they kept five drops, two, four. Yeah, it's like, I mean... Oh, here's an island. Sundering Titan just got better. However, you know what didn't get better? Any of the other cards. I don't want to discard this because I want to use it to cast this. So this makes this awkward. Please stop with the romantic. <laughs> oh, man. Michael B's not a Romanda fan. I'm taking Michael by the hand. Show him the stand. You know. Oh, God, another awakening zone? Get in the zone. Missed my land drop. I'm just going to cast this on here. If I don't get a turn, you don't get a turn either. Up oh, and that'll do. That'll do. All right. Believe it or not, when I miss my land drop and you play an acidic slime, we are done. Cryptic Commander. Oh my god. Oh god, we have definitely uh We're living our best lives here, folks. We haven't seen anything they have, so I think we're fine like this. I don't I don't know, man. Oh, maybe we want Sower instead of Control Magic, but it's too late because they were like, I, all I saw was Into the Royal Snapcaster and Two Lonely Islands. I'll keep this. Lonely Island, not to be confused with the Andy Sandberg band. Can they be called a band? I don't know. Oh, boy. Good times. I don't think I can get Banda for singing about my buddy Ramanda land oh it was a good land too it's a good land lollipop it's a sweet land it's a favorite land thank you Badger with the gifted sub. God, he gets out of the hospital for three weeks and he wastes no time being a good dude. Has gifted 131 subs to the channel. Yeah, like you do. Like you do. Like you do. How many times is he going to say like you do? Remember that Beatles song, Like You Do? Like, like you do. You know, like you do. I'll always like you do. So please. Like you do. Oh, like you do. Why are we missing land drops this game? I don't understand it. I'm really tired of Into, into the Roiling without a way to take advantage of it. Unfortunately, if we go Sundering Titan here, we're going to have to destroy two of our lands and two of their lands. Presumably this one and, like, this one. Well, again. All right, so look at our hand. Let's let's look at our hand here. We have to tap the Basalt Model to play this. We can't play this. We get no value from this. Can't play this. Can't play this. Can't play this. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. No. False quite bad I really don't think tapping the basalt monolith is worth it for this this is pretty brutal this is not an ideal hand I'll, you know, I'll just play snapcaster for no value I guess if they attack with Nyssa but this guy's only making two mana so they have one two three four five oh well, let's make it three Shut if they played the forest money. first one superfluous royal bug <laughs> oh my god I just want to vomit I we have no I'll, I'll play it because I'm at 20, but I feel like this match was highly decided on uh, us missing land drops. If we were able to stick a Lyra last turn, for example, I think we'd be in much better shape. If we were able to upheaval, which I actually, we still probably could. We could still upheaval, play a land. 
But unfortunately, we have to play a land to do the upheaval, so we don't actually get to... We get to float one. Yeah, like, oh! Guys, this is why you don't concede. That is a rip and a half, my dudes. Mother of... Mother of bassoons. Whatever that means. Shut up and take my money. One superfluous royal buck. <laughs> All the royal bucks. Every version of them. I was just thinking, like, man, maybe Badger should send me a uh, an Australian care package, but it would probably be like literally all Vegemite, and like like the the canyons that have the scorpions inside them. It would just be like twenty of each of those. Well, that's cute. I guess we're both voting for condemnation. Condemnation, nation, nation, nation. If we hit another blue source, we can snapcast her into the row and bounce this, which is just fine. Well, that's a good one. I'm jealous of that. Well, actually not terrible. We take four, we untap this, and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still need another blue, though. So we'll play, we'll play the blue first. We'll play nine. We'll upheaval. We can replay Warm Power Stone with no lands. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm cringing. All right, well. Where are my color? Where are my lands? This is turn what? Turn seven, and I've missed four land drops. God, we were doing so well, man. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think this is the best chance we have at uh, staying alive. All of the Bee Gees. Pretty much. <laughs> People eat Vegemite wrong. You usually just have too much of it. It's meant to use sparingly, but now at least the rent is... Oh, oh, 10 bones. You are correct. And this is also for June, don't forget. It's, it's not even May yet, so... Ideally, they just don't have an answer for this. Because if they do, we're dead. So they either we're either dead or we're not dead. This is really Schrodinger's Schrodinger's cube draft here, where uh, we're both dead and not dead at the same time. Until you open the box, uh, or in other, in other words, reveal their hand. Oh, they're just gonna get rid of our one power stone, or the, our island. Jokes on you. I don't even need blue mana. Joke's on you, I got another blue mana. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. Hero of Blade Hold. If you just attack here. If we attack, we can block, I don't know, like a 1-1. One, one. We're going to 19, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. If they have an answer for this, though, we die. But I guess if they, yeah, I guess that's fine. We're not just going to pass here. Attacking doesn't really do much. Wait, but we do need blue mana. You're right. I was just trying to, I was just trying to, uh, just trying to pump myself up a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what this link is, but Australia has some of the finest, unique snacks and products of all, like this. And then this was what was linked: uh, the Golden Gay Time. It's hard. It's a hard. It's hard to have a gay time on your own. What is that? <laughs> so, so here's the funny thing. I don't know if that's real. Is that real? I don't know. Maybe. That's a, it's a, it's a beautiful configuration of cards you got there. Yep, you played two creatures this turn. Why, why, why even search? Just tap my two guys down and kill me. I don't understand the, I don't understand the complication with that one. But all right. Like once you put the win on the board, don't start digging for cards, man. Nobody likes that unless you're trying to show off. 
like I am. Oh, jeez. This hand has colors and cards that we want. I'm going to keep it. We're on the play. Oh, boy. It's a caramel ice cream covered in biscuit cookie pieces. It's a real thing. The golden gay time is real. And the slogan is hard to have a gay time on your own. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that's fantastic. Wow. That's amazing, dude. I don't want your money for <laughs> staying off cube until 8 p.m. from now on. Oh my god, dude, that's hilarious. Goalie, good games though. Um Yeah, our our draws were I mean, I don't I don't want to blame it on draws ever, but I mean like we didn't hit a fourth land until like turn seven or eight. Probably eight, I think. But oh man, goalie, as always, appreciate it, buddy. Good games, good games. Oh, good times. <laughs> I don't want your money. <laughs> Thanks for the loss, buddy. God. I know I'm the one who linked it, but now I have to tab out because I'm laughing too hard at Frank's joy. Fantastic. Okay, see you later. Bye. Guys, you know why you watch this stream? Because it's hard to have a gay time on your own. Oh, look, we did it. We did it. We did it. You missed Lampert. Yeah, it was rough, man. It was really rough. My hand was like Lyra, so double white. Uh, upheaval, double blue. Glenelander Archmage, which we just didn't have a way to... Like, I don't want to tap my Basalt Monolith for that. Like, we just didn't have anything to cast is the problem. If I could upheaval before you did your little thing, did your little, your little opposition thing, then I think it would have been better, but... What did I miss? Something about gay time? Oh, God. Yeah, Skeletal, Skeletal Cat um, linked a, uh, a delicious a delicious Australian snack. And um, it's called the Golden Gay Time. Is this the... Uh, is this logo the the same as the... What's that? What are they called? They have like the vanilla... The Good Humor. Is this the Good Humor logo? It's just like an Australian Good Humor. No, I guess not. I feel like I've seen this logo before. Anyway. Does this say it's about gay time on the side? <laughs> oh, it's just the most fantastic thing I've ever seen before. Oh my god. I know that logo too. I don't know where it's from though. Tristan, what's going on? Alright, so we're really hoping for a wrath of god here. Oh, wow. Look how big it is. Well, they didn't want either of these. Okay. Yes! They changed it, right? Like, it's a truck now, but on top of the good humor, it's this little... It's the heart. Right? So... And it's also... Yeah, and you can tell because it looks exactly the same. Like, it's literally just... Uh, an ice cream bar with like a layer on the outside and then a layer on the outside of that. So it's a hundred percent the same, the same company. It's like, it's like Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, right? Like they're the same company, but they have different names based on like location. Good day. Humor was gold. Just saying, wow. Okay. I agree with you. It was pretty gas. <laughs> oh Lord. Man. This is good. Like Edie's and Dryers, yes. Or Briars? Isn't there a Briars as well? B R E Y E R S? I don't know, man. Companies are weird. 
I can't for the life of me figure out why they wouldn't have the same game time slogan here in the States. I don't think anyone would have an issue with that. Yeah, Americans are... They're real dumb. Um, I'm going to play Big Tefs here. No, I'm going to play Lyra here. And if they Assassin's Trophy, we can get our one Swampy Boy. If we play this guy, it's just going to die. He goes to five. They pump this guy, and then they have a big fat... A big fat creature fest. It's hard to have one on your own. 100, 100, it's hard to have one on your own bits. Nice. Nice. Oh, good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're just going to Gonti. That's fine. <sighs> Whatever they play, we can actually just Teferi it back and then get our own creature back. That's pretty nice. I would kill for those strawberry. Yeah, the strawberry. All the good humor bars are pretty sweet. I'm a fan of all of them. Oh, wow. A Gonti and a Karn. You must be you must be playing. I'm gonna give you this cold steel heart. <sighs> Sheesh, they just did the CBS next door, my dude. <laughs> you don't have to murder anybody. You can just go to the Walgreens, man. It's fine. You're being ridiculous right now. If this was an untapped land, we can actually Teferi, draw a card, keep up counter spell. But guys, it's not. So we're just gonna shambling vent. Maybe we tuck one of the... No, they, Teferi still dies, though. It goes to two. They attack with both. I think we're just trying to keep our forbid... My, our forbidding. And we, like, we're like we just going to... They're going to play a big thing. We're going to counter whatever they do, and then we're just going to play Magister Worth. We will lose a Lyra. But... That's life, you know? Life is just losing a Lyra, you know what I mean? Like, we have Forbid, and then we have another Forbid. That's pretty cool. Some of the advertisements of it are amazing. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Gate time? Whoa there, cowboy. That's amazing. Wow, that's, like, so... That's really... It's, like, it's surprisingly refreshing to just see, like, an entire country that doesn't, like... I don't know, man. That's amazing, dude. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are they just nining us? Well, I ain't gonna block. Australia just doesn't care about anything. That's good. Good for them. I hope they're having a gay old time. So I have one of your three cards. Yeah, nobody, ain't nobody got time for that. They're playing their thing without actually activating... Oh, they have Chromatic Lantern, Coalition Relic, and Cold Steel Heart. All of the Cs. CL, CR, and CH. That's a lot. I feel like you should have done this first, because if there's two good cards... Do I care about Grimala? You're only making 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Oh boy. You can have Grave Worm Muse. Beans and cornbread burnt. Beans and cornbread. Badger, I have a feeling they would not make the trip, buddy. Burp, burp, burp. Beans and cornbread, how to fight. Meet me at the corner tomorrow night. I'll be ready. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight mana. They know, we know they have a Greyborn Muse, which we can get rid of with what? Not much. They also have one card of ours from Gaunti. I guess you could refreeze it and just kind of eat the monstrosity that, that that's created in its wake. <sighs> I 
And the stream is going down again, despite my, uh... Yep, that's cool. Hmm... And nothing was fixed. So, 4 slash 17, 8, 11. Oh, boy. Good times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can actually play this keep up for bid, but they have a million dudes. Yep, so I'm just going to have to call them again tomorrow and be like, hey, why is my internet still going out even though you said you fixed it today like I just don't want to lose this Lyra and like expose ourselves like four five six seven eight nine they have nine power so we go down to eight and then we attack for five four five six seven so we're one shy of being able to play both of these Yeah, it's really obnoxious, especially because, like, I do it for a living. And, like, they came out today to fix it. So, like, theoretically, it should be fine, right? Like, I feel like we have time to just take another turn. Like, if they want to play something else, we can just wait. I'm just going to wait here. We have Forbid, and then we have a Snapcaster for another Forbid if they play something that's really degenerate. Yeah, that's really frustrating. Um, it should never go down to zero. Like, it shouldn't be hard to, to stream at 3,000 bit rate. It just did the same exact thing that it did the other day, so. We could also block the Gonti with our shambling vent. If we had a second black source and we didn't care that it wouldn't kill it, it would just die. But yeah, all those things. Oh, they didn't actually use the Coalition Relic mana. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Your internet may be in the kitchen with onions. Maybe go check. That's actually a good point. I feel weird that I hadn't even considered that. So if we wiped the board with Magister of Worth, they would get to untap and play whatever this is. Uh, when it until when her face of a creature dies, yeah, we actually have to get rid of this because otherwise, it Magister of Worth does not work as well. See, the funny thing is, if they played Graveworm use pre combat with a Coalition Relic mana, they could still play Whisperwood post combat. So that was an interesting choice. Yeah, we're definitely going to Magister here. Even though they have Greyborn Muse, I think it's fine. Burp, 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 burp. Uh, let's go condemnation. Condemnation, nation, nation, nation. Let's see what they vote for. Same. They're like, same. So we traded a Lyra for an incubation, drew a J Light Ranger, and a Gonti, but we also got a creature out of it. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. So just making an extra dude here, right? Yeah, this is it's, ooze trigger on the stack. I'll make yet another ooze. Okay, man, do it. Do what you gotta do, my dude. One, two, three, four. 
So I kind of want to enter the roll and just bounce this. One, two, three, four, five. We could Teferi, draw a card. One, two, three, four, five. Play a land if it's an unta untapped two. Block here. I mean, they're just going to kill Teferi though, right? Like, that's not... Oh, boy. Yeah, Sundering Titan's been worse uh, when they don't have lands in play. Will you do a set review when it's all spoiled? Yes, I will. Me and Rob will do one. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't want to take nine here, so I think I'm just going to keep this up. Actually, if you hold you back and then we... Teferi, we're still going to get... Well, we're going to bounce you, aren't we? Huh. Well, isn't that special? Okay, so I think we just... Creeping Tarpit here and then not worry about Teferi yet. Like, Teferi's going to win us the game. If we just run them out of cards, I guess. I don't know, man. I have no idea. Adam bomb, baby. Adam bomb. Four, five for the initial, and one, two, three, four. Yeah, they had enough. It's actually exactly, you need five green sources, and they had exactly five green sources. That's pretty funny. Actually, they probably wouldn't attack with this, right? If they kill a Teferi. Like, if we play Teferi, they probably wouldn't attack with the regular ooze. Maybe. Thank you. RPG Batcher gifting 10 subs. DCM Dame, five more minutes. Uh, D Fox, Chalabi, I Waffle Bot, Mark Spector. Mark Spector, my favorite, one of my favorite Marvel characters. It's about 9,000. Go Sagan, Amped Phil. Thank you. Thank you. And Redizzle. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate uh, Badger. You are awesome, dude. Oh, they didn't attack at all. Thank you. Make a dude. Yep. Thank you. That's it. That's all you're doing, huh? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Thank you. Magister of Worth is killing all your dudes again. I'll vote condemnation again. That seems good. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana now, so we can actually use Sundering Titan. We would have to kill an island and a plains of our own, and then a swamp and a forest of theirs, which is not, it's not super impressive. Well, yes, Bouncing Magister was definitely the plan all along. Oh, and this is great because if they only have one creature on board, we can tuck it with Teferi. We can also Marshall Coup. I'm going to assume they don't have a haste creature, and even if they do, we have Snapcaster Mage, so I'm not super concerned with that. Tefit with Tuckery. <laughs> Good times. Let's Tefit with Tuckery. Control magic? Buddy, I got into the royal. You are just helping me out, my dude. Wow, that is a lot of mana. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
We could play Mind Slayer, and then with a two untapped, we can just steal their turn. Let's see if this does anything. Hope they don't have, like, Beast Within. Resolve. One, two... I'm going to take your turn, good sir. Let's see what you got here. Ma Massacre Worm. And Graveborn Muse. Oh, Forest. Okay, so... I guess we're just playing Massacre Worm here. And... Yep, yeah, that is fine. And then we can just Marshal Coup on our turn. That leaves them with very little... Because I'd rather them not have Massacre Arm when we're playing, uh, you know, the thing. We got four, th three lands in hand. You're going to draw Grave Born Muse on your next draw step? Sure. Oh, that's fascinating. This is a lot of mana. What we can, well, what we can do is actually go play all three of these. One, two, three. Coalition Relic first, and then all of these. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have fourteen mana next turn to upheaval for six. No, that's not right, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, oh my god. Favorite Drawbreaker song? That's a good question. Like, we take, we take, we take ten here, right? We go to three. But we know their next draw is a Greyborn Muse, and we know they have three lands in hand. They have Forest Swamp Swamp. So we're just bouncing everything. We lose Teferi, though, don't we? But I guess that's fine. Alternatively, we just Marshall Coup here, but then we don't have a, a good replay with Marshall Coup. Just trying to figure out the best way to win here, and also the funnest way to win here. I think we're just going to go for it. Especially because we know what they're getting with their mana. Or with their, not with their mana, but with their, uh, you know, their things. Oh, we also get Magister back, so that's pretty cool. I'm still thinking of my favorite Jawbreaker song. The Jawbreaker shirt is a Joy Division homage, that is correct. Well noticed. Well noticed. Because I'm doing this mostly because we get to untap with eight mana. Which means we get to replay like Hero of Blade Hold, some of these mana rocks. Oh, they're both going at Teferi. Decent. Dece. Yep. Seems good. So, do they play a land this turn? Uh, they did not. So we know they have... So they have Forest, Swamp, Swamp, Muse, Control, Worm, Heart, Relic, Woodland. And then you have four more Forests. So Forest, 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 Forest. And then three more Swamps. Swamp, Swamp, Swamp. So this is what? Three cards in hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen cards. And they have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's all of them. Okay. Hmm. Of course, we get a land here. Seems fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Upheaval. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go Hero of Blade Hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, seven, eight. So three here. Well, we're definitely playing this. The black, the white, and a blue. 
so four, five, six. This pays for itself, and it's just nice to have on board rather than in hand. Two, three. We're going to play this, play a hero. And then probably play... Uh, actually, you can play land and then Worn Power Stone, which might have been better than... Bas oh, we can still do that, I guess. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to go land Worn Power Stone, yeah. I was so locked into just playing a tap land, but... So we actually won another game with uh, no permanence on the opponent's side. Did you get the control magic? Yes, I did. It's, it's under control right here, so I can get rid of all these. All right, so they have a bunch of dirtily creatures. We're definitely bringing a Day of Judgment. And Forsake, because we saw a bunch of... We saw three different artifacts. Grim Monolith, Coalition Relic, Chromatic Lantern, Cold Steel Heart, and Control Magic. So that's... Take out the Sundering Titan. Again, Sundering Titan, you suck. I actually haven't been super impressed with Mind Slaver either, but I would never say that out loud. We also didn't see much removal, so Sower actually might be decent. Your opponent's Control Magic went into the, your hand from people. What? No. It was in my hand after the upheaval? What? Are you serious? Wait, what? Can someone clip that? Oh, it was our control magic. Oh my god, that makes total sense. Wow, I totally didn't even realize that. Never mind, don't clip it. That makes sense. I told I'm like, oh, control magic, that's cool. It didn't even occur to me that they didn't have blue cards in their deck. Holy smokes. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I was just like... Wow, we got the control magic? What a weird bug. JK, it was... Is there 41? I'm actually okay with 41. I think Mike is on the same page where he was like, wow, why did you get the control magic? Gonti. But yeah, I'll keep this because we get to I mean we don't have any blue but we can warn power stone at least well I think it's also because the Gonti was like 17 turns ago right like that was like turn turn 5 or something and like we were on like turn 13 so the, the connection between Gonti and this random card that we never knew about to begin with was just not there anymore. Especially when they have, like, Coalition Relic and stuff. It's very possible they were just splashing it off of, like, all their fixing. Okay, okay. Well, they get to play a 4-drop here, which is likely going to be a Gonti, I would imagine. That's my guess. Are you guys excited to see that new movie coming out called Gonti in 60 Seconds? Frank, that's terrible. That's not even a funny joke. Well, that was a good hit. Oh, they're just negative to make a construct. Interesting. They're really, they're far ahead. I don't know why they would do that. Oh, I guess because we have Shambling Vent, but we don't have a second black. Joke's on you. I only got like five mana bugs and black noise in my deck. Oh, remanding what they get off Gonti is gas. This is aggressive. Especially because we haven't seen any removal in the deck. Like, we don't, I don't think we saw any other than Control Magic, which is, which is ours. Oh, can I just draw a Supreme Verdict here? An Isolated Chapel is very similar. It's basically the same thing. I guess we just play Lyra here. Burp, 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 burp. To Sarah Fischl, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your paper. Well, don't enjoy it, but, you know, tackle it. Get it, get it done. Do, do what you gotta do. These guys have, like, the Wolverine. Like, they have, like, the one Wolverine claw. Let's 
Oh, that was rude. That was probably the rudest thing you could have done, I think. Uh, you can have a swamp. <laughs> okay, now we're definitely going to kill... Oh, well, then we just die, don't we? Ooh, that's awkward. It's really... I'm crossing my fingers here for like a... God, we don't even have a second blue source. We can't even get the valley off this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can play Teferi and into the Royal this thing. No, we can't. We have one blue. Yeah, that's rough. I guess we can play Hero of Bladehold and bounce one of these these dummies. They don't actually have a third green if they want to kill Karn to get the Biogenic Ooze. Yeah, I think we're going to go Hero and keep up into the Royal and Remand. Because I'm not a big fan of dying here. Alternatively, we could have went one, two, three, four, five. Had two lands up. Nope, one of them would have been tapped. We could have played uh, this instead. But then we still can't kick into the Royal, so we don't need four mana at that point. So. Oh, boy. It was a hell of a start from them for a mold of six. I feel Gonti is sassy IRL. <laughs> I mean, he's a lord of luxury. What well, you know? That only makes sense, really. You'd be sassy too if you were a lord of luxury. I think this is actually fine. I don't care about that. Do they play the swamp? Do we know? They played a forest, so we know they still have swamp in hand. All right. So if they alpha, we can either... Well, they're probably not going to attack with this, right? They probably just attack with the four fours, then we have to block, but then we bounce one, kill the other. Did you get your car fixed? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I had to get a new hybrid battery. It was pretty expensive. This is what we're hoping for here. Oh, fascinating. Well, now we're definitely blocking here and bouncing one of these guys. Let's announce blocks first. It's strange to me they don't plus Gonti before they make their plays, right? Like you, you get, you're like gonna play a thing and then you get more information when you, and then you then you carn afterwards and you're like, whoa, this would have been better. Uh, you can play Worn Power Stone. I'll just give you another Forest. So now we know you have Swamp Forest in hand. Seems fine. Jade Light Ranger hitting Vraska and Forest. Okay, well I'm sure you're gonna keep that Vraska. That is a solid card that we don't have. McKim, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Well, that is a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this costs nine total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, they, there's no way they can double this the problem is if we go at this they're just going to let it die and then they have six power on board so we have to be able to like if we if we draw a card like they just play Vraska and then we want to remand it ah, this is so bad I feel like we're in super awkward shape like if they didn't have Jade Light Ranger we know they have three lands and a Vraska and one random card in hand which is kind of obnoxious
Like, if we kill Karn and Verdict, they just get to res oh, I guess they don't get to resolve Raska. Yeah, I guess that's true. That's not bad. Steven, welcome back. 21 months. Two years incoming. Three months away, buddy. Three months away. Oh, I did it wrong. I'm... Oh, my God. Oh, wow, that's so bad, because now they can just block. I guess if they block, it's fine. I literally, I'm always so conscious of this, but I was literally, I, I literally, it's even, it's not your fault I got distracted by the, uh, <laughs> by the, by the notification. I was like, oh, it's even, click, 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 it's three minutes away. Oh no, I made a terrible mistake. It happens. Magic's hard. Magic is a difficult game full of fun and surprises. So they can block here and then Karn survives, but then they have to just lose their guy and then we get to keep hero. That's actually pretty good. Because now, this has actually worked out quite well. They get a random card. But we get to Teferi. And we still get to keep up. We get to blink this guy. Now they have no pressure. They have to play Vraska here. And we get to get rid of it. That's pretty cool. They didn't activate this at the end of turn. I'm okay with that. Yeah, this is it's going right back to your hand, unfortunately. Did they play a land? Did they play a forest? So we know the forest is gone. What's it gonna be? Do 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 do. One and blue. Remando. Gonna take me by the hand, remand. Oh god, it's in my head again. Oh my god. You kinda in my spell, putting it in my hand, remando. Okay, so in your hand is Vraska, Forest Swamp. One round. I wasn't distracting you. I was helping you find a different line. That was actually... It worked out well. Oh, wow. They're just getting... I, I imagine they're just getting Biogenic Ooze, which is fine because we have Sower and Supreme Verdict, so... What did they... What card do they, they... Yeah, they put Biogenic Ooze in hand. Huh. Huh. So next time they go one, two, three, four... Yeah, we're just going to Supreme Verdict next turn. Draw a card. That is better. Um, I kind of like attacking with Shambling Vent here. Black, one, two. Activate. We could steal this, but I mean, like, I don't really feel like stealing something before they... Before they play their, uh, their Biogenic Ooze is really where I want to be. Ocean Remand, return it to my hand. Counter land. This is a lot of damage. Okay, Battle Cry always. You always click Battle Cry first. There we go. What is this? 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We might just win next turn. They block 3 and they take 11. Yeah, we might just be able to win next turn, actually. Without actually having to do anything. They might kill Hero of Bladehold with their Vraski. With their Bill Vraski. Um, do we want to sow or something? I don't think so. I would like sow if this was already leveled up. If this was leveled up as a 3-5, I'd do it, but... They're at four. I mean, Sora could have been fine, actually. I think we probably been, would have been ahead here. Thank you. X match. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You are the hero we need, and we won the game. Two one, two one. Corey, thank you so much for the stipulation. Really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully that fulfilled all the criteria. I feel like we were able to 
you know, steal their turn. We were able to upheaval and destroy all their things. We had a Teferi emblem that got rid of their things. Hopefully that's that worked out well. Let me know. Let me know if it uh, if it fulfilled the criteria for you. I'd really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, definitely check out manatraders.com. You can find the link in the description. I personally use them to borrow cards, uh, digital MTGO cards. I can, you can also borrow physical cards. They have subscription service. You get 20% off your first three months if you use the promo code and the link in my description below. So be sure to check those out. Make sure you use both. And then you can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they're super comfortable. So check those out. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.